hello traders welcome to this video how to day trade any market in today's session we're going to be looking very closely at day trading the ES and I'll show you three trades that I executed two of them you'll actually get to see me execute them live in a recording I actually started to trade the ES and halfway through I thought ah I'll turn the recorder on so we'll go through and have a look at those so we're also going to dive in deep on some other setups that we could have taken just before my live session and just after and I'll explain in in great detail exactly what I'm looking for so look this session might go for 30 40 minutes but if you truly want to uh, earn a full-time part-time income day trading high probability strategies stick around because we'll dive in deep now if $1,000 a day is not enough for you, you simply increase your position size trade more contracts however at the same time we never ever risk any more than 2% and as you build your accounts you want to uh, drop that risk down to 1% of your account even better still 0.5 depending on the number of contracts that you're trading that allows you to then add to your positions now typically you'll see me trade at around a 1% risk but that works for me okay I'm in my 60s I don't want the really high pressure uh, but what I'm looking for is those high probability setups now what I also cover in this session so session 110 is you can apply to futures Forex or stocks it doesn't really matter now I do need to pull up the disclaimer we, there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose uh, stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable uh, very very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my ebook for uh, my free ebook the truth about day trading there's a description link below so you can go down there and download that I'll also be referring to uh, a number of spreadsheets or a spreadsheet in which you will be able to uh, download as well so you'll find that and a small train well a small video a small training video a training video on how to use it correctly better still make sure you subscribe to my channel and better still again make sure you become a member for $197 you get all of my indicators there's hundreds of hours of videos there's over 35 powerpoints but don't worry you don't have to learn all of my setups you just want to focus initially on trading with the trend you get all of this for 197 and on top of that I have a special gain at the moment where I'll also gift you eight live coaching sessions that is I run every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time a two-hour class on how to trade my strategies psychology of trading money management and much much more and so you get one month free now after your first month if you wish you can sign up then at $97 a month ongoing my website price if you visit the website is $2.97 a month so at the end of one month we will email you and ask you hey would you like to sign up and continue you're not signing up for that initially okay traders end of advertisement let's get into this traders you'll hear me talk a lot about goal setting and gaining clarity around your trading and this was from Paul J Meyer going back I've had this uh, plaque here for what would have been now gee close to uh, 45 years and it's something that I've lived by by crystallizing your thinking developing a plan and show me a trade of it has a compelling future and I'll show you a trade of it's almost certainly going to make it as a scalper and day trader so you'll hear me talk a lot about setting targets setting goals but I'm also about yes you want to have a goal that's a stretch but it's got to be somewhat realistic now one of the greatest challenges that traders have uh, is really the size of their trading account that is they they're over they're undercapitalized because this is a business but the other thing is mastering 
the trade or having the right trading strategies now for many of you you would have heard of the late great Mark Douglas and he wrote these two excellent books trading in the zone and the disciplined trader unfortunately he was taken away from us a few years ago far too early a gentleman in his 60s uh, but he was just brilliant with what the advice and in fact I say to all traders the disciplined trader should be your Bible the uh, when it comes to day trading the advice he gives in that book is this what you want to do is become an expert at one particular pattern that repeats itself with some degree of frequency to become an expert choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical so you'll be working with a visual representation of the market traders quite often will ask me how come you've got such a high uh, uh, win loss ratio why why do you kick butt it's because I'm looking for patterns in the market geometric patterns that appear every day and for low of a time frame the more often the patterns going to appear but at the same time we've got to be careful that we're not trading a time frame that's too low because you get a lot a lot of what we call noise in the market now whoops here we go whoops here we go sorry I'm trying to get on the next slide so here is and, and you'll get to see this when we get to the live trades the dark blue line represents trading in the direction of a higher time frame the smaller pullbacks are the pullbacks on my entry chart I actually have three charts I have a an entry chart an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two now it's not as difficult as what it may sound when it comes to trading with three charts the anchor chart two I just really I'm glancing at just to get an overall view of the much longer term because we want to be trading in the direction of the tide we want to be swimming uh, in the direction of the flowing river not against it so we've got our uh, our trend continuation setups which is where all new traders should start with but then we've also got our counter trend trades our reversal trades our trend correction trades and so you'll see me quite often uh, in virtually every um, session trading session I'll take these slightly more advanced and I recommend uh, new traders initially stay away from CT trading because really what you want to do is master one simple setup to begin with and then expand your knowledge as you go now in today's session we're going to be looking at um, uh, three trades uh, we can see here I took uh, this is called a t10 it's a it's really a sort of a trend reversal confirmation believe it or not this top one is actually a trend continuation it may not look like it but on the higher time frames we were still in a downtrend on the entry chart we just happened to have a deep retracement now you'll see this live on the video in a moment that very I was very very close within one tick of being stopped out so when I enter a trade traders I like to place my stop and a maximum stop of 10 ticks by the way look sometimes it might be sitting up there at 12 when I enter a trade or whatever but I'll pull it down never ever more than 10 ticks so I'd have my stop one tick above okay and it then formed a double top if I wasn't already in this one I certainly would have jumped in on this one and then I jumped in uh, this one down here uh, and I was actually targeting the pivot which I'll show you uh, very very closely in a moment now in all this was uh, all over and done with within 10 minutes so I'd hit my target now my target here for this particular market is around 320 to 350 a day per contract and I'll talk more about that when I get to the spreadsheet uh, in a moment now uh, so starting off you'd be trading with the trend like uh, and for members watching this um, there's for an example a t20-1 that is just a no-brainer entry but all of these this one this one uh, that would have been uh, they're all rules-based strategies now I want to quickly uh, run through 
how much money do you really need to do this now here's where a lot of traders will switch off by the way and they wonder why they're not making the money and it's not meant to sound condescending it's just factual this is a business if you want to succeed in this business if you're undercapitalized you're not going to make it if you're desperate to make money you're not going to make it you see with day trading and scalping what I've found over the years and I've been now trading for 28 years is that traders tend to bring their personal issues to their trading if you're impulsive um, uh, if you're um, uh, suffering from money issues at the moment if you're desperate trading is going to be very very hard for you to master until we can master the mind so until you master the mind you won't master your trading now what if you do have some of those issues well what we want to do here traders is get you to start off on a smaller account and with our NLP techniques with the psychology of trading we can rein that in but you've got to be willing to put the work into it now I also believe in what I call the POQ the power of quitting and that is when I hit my daily target I like to finish for the day I don't want to be sitting there four to six hours a day why in my 60s you know I've got kids I've now got a, a great grandson I've got uh, seven children uh, what is it now 14 15 grandchildren so I want to live a lifestyle as well now I should also say that your results may not match mine I've been doing it a long time I'm also pretty much 98% disciplined sometimes I break the rules I'm still human so you, your results uh, should match mine exactly should you follow the rules with my setups now here's what it, the game changer is and this is where I really want you to start to sit down pen the paper and map out your future $1,000 a day or 5,000 a week would be a game changer for basically 95 98% of a population how do you do that well first of all you want to have realistic goals when it comes to trading now if you want to really take it easy just going for $100 a day on 10 contracts okay you don't even have to increase the number of setups just increase uh, that you're trading number of contracts that you're trading now you may go ah that's obvious and uh, it's all right for you you've got the money to trade but what if I don't well I'll show you how to get that money in a moment and I'm not talking about funding programs either as you step it up with experience three to five hundred a day per contract is realistic but you've got to get there first so how are we going to do it so first of all you'll hear me say regularly get rich slowly this is not a get rich quick um, strategy or even business yes you'll hear of the occasional person that makes a big time very very quickly but um, that's pretty rare realistically we know that over 90 percent of traders uh, will actually lose they don't make any money and there's some really solid reasons for that so what we want to do is set realistic targets uh, trading only a couple of different setups initially that are trend following now in trading the ES the ES is probably the most liquid market besides Forex um, uh, in the world and typically on a normal day you'll see one and a half million contracts uh, actually traded um, I'm recording this during the summer holidays at the moment so we're seeing typically around 1.1 million contracts trade a day so what you're after is what I call four six step scalps that's after any losses uh, we're after quick scalps now I like to get in get out get paid that's my philosophy now you can also go for larger targets remember a couple of minutes ago I mentioned the t20-1 the t20-1 will identify the start of a potential new trend so if you enter there you can go for your much much larger targets if you want to stay with the trade I don't want the stress that is I like to get in get out look for another setup and look that suits my personality we're all different okay so what you're after is between three and four net trades a day now I want to talk about something that's really serious now and that is the funds required to trade this market traders are misled every day 
on YouTube in YouTube videos Google etc on how much money you, you need yes there's day trading margins you can get in and trade the ES with a thousand dollars however or even less however if you're a new trader um, uh, you're, you're almost certainly going to blow your account a number of times if you take that approach and the reason being you go and drop $100 you're down 10% on your capital do that a couple of times and you're down two three four hundred percent and your accounts are wiped out and what that does psychologically is is massive so we've got to start by trading uh, the, and, and having the right amount of capital so to trade the way or the time frame I'm about to show you you need between five thousand and six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars now you may say oh right I don't have that sort of money that's fine you can start by trading a micro account which is 10% of the value so what you're looking at here is you need six hundred and twenty five dollars you can start from there now if you go on net $32 a day now what that is see on the micro it's a dollar 25 a tick that's 25 ticks a day that's all you're after is 25 ticks a day so that's after commission so hence I said you want um, uh, four six tick trades a day we're talking about here after commissions now here's what this means within 12 weeks you're earning fifteen hundred dollars a week I'd better say legally potentially but that's what you'd be earning if you were earning 32 a day and your account size is now seven thousand four hundred dollars what you can then do is roll over to the big contract now a lot of traders this is where they just ruin their potential career so you know let me just say this so many people will say okay I'll work for the next 40 years and retire with a pension of maybe a thousand dollars a week or so and that's what they do where in this business you work at this for six to eight 12 months and you have a potential of earning ten thousand dollars a week for the rest of your life what's the difference well it's massive isn't it all you need to do is exercise patience time's gonna pass anyway traders so once we've got six or seven thousand in our account we can now roll over now the reason we need six thousand two hundred and fifty is the strategy I'll show you in a moment I may have a stop loss of up to ten ticks a tick is worth twelve dollars fifty in this market so 10 ticks is $125 now here I'm after it doesn't matter what market I'm trading I'm after a 5% return per contract traded or the funds I've allocated that's just a little thing I like to work with so here and I've had to round this off it actually would have come to a hundred a three hundred and twelve dollars fifty here with my little calculator what this tells me if I start off with that and I net three hundred and thirteen dollars a day within 11 weeks I'm earning ten thousand plus actually eleven thousand a week and my account has grown from six two to fifty six fifty seven thousand dollars that is a reality and how this table works is you only start trading a second contract when you double your money you only start trading three contracts down here when you triple your money so we're using the markets money now we can go and put some ridiculous um, uh, unreasonable figures in here and I can show you, you can get there in a week or two it's just not realistic this is we're using the markets money what you may choose to do is you might have 40 50 60 hundred thousand dollars start off on a micro make all your mistakes within a month or two then you go to a big contract month or two then you can maybe put some more capital in the market so what this means is within 11 weeks of going on the big contract you can be financially secure the rest of your life now the other option and there is another option for experienced traders is rather than be trading with a 10 tick stop you can get away quite comfortably with experience with an 8 tick stop which means you only need five thousand dollars and you can be there save yourself two or three weeks I would generally and there's a, a, a method to my madness why I want a 10 tick stop and that is because on the anchor chart 
my higher time frame at times I'm going to be waiting for that candle to close and you'll see where I put my stop loss in a minute and so that will mean sometimes that I need a larger account to stay within my money management rules for you would be for most traders a maximum of 2% so this is the bottom line you start off with 625 based on 32 a day in 12 weeks your accounts now 7,000 plus you then roll over to the big contract based upon that $313 uh, 11 weeks you now have got the 10,000 plus per week potential now that's taking you 23 weeks to get there less than half a year now that's from the time you go live now you can break this down here where what if you think crumbs I could never do that um, uh, I want to what if I only go for ten dollars a day in if you go for ten dollars a day on the micro and then roll over when you've got six thousand dollars capital then you go to the a big contract and instead of going for 320 or 330 whatever it was you only go for one hundred dollars a day you're there in 20 months the same ten thousand dollar a week income that is the reality of this business the fact is and I can guarantee you thank you for continuing to watch this it shows that you want to learn the right way but you know what so many traders would have logged off by now they don't want to hear this they want to get rich quick and they wonder why they continually blow their account so then the next question is now how are we going to do this how do we put this together if you're going for um, uh, five six step scalps a day did I say four before I think it was for less than what I'm talking about here but overall if we want to be netting um, around that 320 I need five six tick trades a day or four seven or three ten tick trades a day now if I'm trading what we call the t20-1 after three waves may sound complicated easy once you see what I mean uh, you only need three trades a day to be achieving this on the ES and of course is a ton of markets you got currency futures you've got uh, I love the Russell uh, the Dow uh, you've got oil which is fantastic so you've got a whole range of markets so what we're about to do is go to the recording and we'll go to the charts as I said I'll probably go 10 minutes extra what I'll normally go because I'll show you the live trades then we'll go back to the charts at that time and I'll show you uh, pre the trades I took the opportunities and what happened after because there's really so many opportunities now one thing I do want to say is I like to say we get paid to wait meaning at times we need to be patient sometimes we'll sit there and we don't have a trend uh, there's no market movement and that's where we've got to learn to sit on hands so as we go to the charts here's what I'm looking for where are my pivots and Camarilla pivots with the prior days open high and lows open high low and close our major EMAs intraday swings and the current days open high low and close now if you're a brand new trader or someone looking to trade oh my goodness what does that mean it's easy when you're shown this and in fact all of these are basically predictive indicators and we see them plot ev I mean you've got indicators that will plot them for you and as a professional trader I want to trade into these and thousands of other professionals this is what we're using we're trading into these they act as price magnets and major support resistance levels now I'm going to play back this video and I, I don't even think I had sound on it because I started to trade and I thought ah, let me hit record set up and so let me go with this and I'll explain exactly what I'm looking at and then we'll go back to this chart shortly now first of all uh, I jumped in on this trade here and so it was already underway and that's what I thought oh let me hit record and just discuss this uh, over here and I'll explain it better when I get to the charts this is called angulation very simple concept but a real money maker when you know how to trade it so let me hit this and I'll explain as we're going on so I just had a winning trade here and that was actually a for members watching this this is what we call a t10 on the anchor chart one so I just had a really good t10 on the anchor chart one now up above here just there that's called a Camarilla 
a Camarilla pivot cam pivot let me get that right now we pop through and so I probably I was pausing the video in between looking for trades now let me stop right there now first of all what you can't see here oh well over here it is I'm actually trading here in the direction of a higher time frame here's my anchor chart one by the way that's called a MACD BB you don't need that okay I do have it for ninja trader I don't have it for other platforms it's a nice tool but once again it's just a tool the key thing is price act is what's the overall trend of the market okay so I've got a higher high oh, I had divergence it's what I call a t12 uh, it's a no-brainer now sorry I got a bug attacking me here now what I've got right there is what we call a 10 tick stop loss now I could have entered earlier by the way but I wanted to wait for my anchor chart one to confirm the trade now my stop loss is one tick above the high so down here my stop loss would have been one tick below up here um, above the high over here if I'd have taken that trade um, and that was actually a 50% retracement uh, and yes it would have hit six ticks which is $75 which by the way is generally my break even uh, uh, what was I going to say my stop would have been uh, yes one tick above there now this is why stops are so important now what I'm about to show you here this is a fatal mistake that traders still make and I see it every day I've trained now thousands of traders I've, I run both by the way a live trading room uh, three mornings a week and I run my coaching classes and so I've and I've got uh, literally a hundred to two hundred traders in each room and fortunately none of those hopefully move their stops for the wrong reason and that is watch what happens here now you'll see in a moment that the market goes up within one tick of stopping me out now if we do get stopped and for members watching this by the way there was a, a, a t10 just there but right on the pivot now what I'm saying there traders is if you're trading and you're selling right on a pivot quite often you'll get this you've got what we call a PB or a pivot bounce now your best divergence trades like just watch this here now I come up within one tick of stopping me out now I believe uh, um, in what I call the law of probabilities there are no certainties in trading but there are probabilities and we want to think and trade in probabilities of 20 and that's uh, a key lesson you'll learn in the Mark Douglas book the disciplined trader now just here uh, uh, we will reverse and and so uh, it's just expanding the chart now what I'm just doing just here by the way is I'm compressing my chart because I want to check what's above me because I'm thinking at this stage look it looks like I'm going to be stopped out now if I do I'll then look for what I call a breakout pullback trade I'll get a breakout I'll be stopped sure I'll make a new higher high and look for a pullback and look for a long so I'm looking for do I have any pivots above me or any other major support resistance levels and just there I can see I've got yesterday's close so it's like playing chess we're thinking forward traders what may happen if this happens etc so go back to this I checked that out then we started to get a reversal here and for members watching this uh, and, and for, for you as well this is uh, called a 2d uh, and also a t7 which is a double top basically um, so here yes and you know sometimes people give me crap because I get them codes but it just makes it easier by having codes if you've got a, a number of strategies you use so that's called a t7 which is a double top effectively okay so here you can see the support once again right there at that pivot level okay so we see that uh, every day now just there I've got another that's called a t20 and if you want to go for a larger target so once again I was just double checking what's below me and so if I can clear these major EMAs now what on the entry chart what I've got there is an 89 and 200 EMA 
now I'm just looking at the anchor chart here right a big picture view so I'm just reviewing what's happening on the anchor chart there okay and I'm looking to uh, I'm still looking good I'm rolling over I've had major divergence my indicators are rolling over um, uh, so I'm just waiting to get filled now what you'll sometimes see me do as well is I go to break even usually at six ticks or six steps I call them on the Renko so by the way each step here uh, is one tick okay which is $12.50 I just call them steps it makes it easy uh, for members watching this here is a t20-1 right there okay so and see how I've gone to break even just there automatically on my dome now what I'll quite often do and I get filled I'll quite often if I'm concerned about a little pullback uh, and let me just pause this for a moment because I want to explain this here uh, I'll sometimes put my stop back where it was because I've got a fairly tight stop and sometimes you get stopped out only to see it move again now I'm just taking my third trade and um, this is actually um, it's called a 13b uh, and a slingshot so I've got a slingshot right here my stop is there um, and I think I was after uh, 10 ticks I can't remember now I think it was 10 ticks I was after and just waiting for that to come down now aha let me explain what I'm looking at so what I can see down here are pivots I've got yesterday's low and I've got a cam pivot and so I know I've got an extremely very high chance of coming down and kissing that pivot now what will usually happen on the ES and on most markets we what we call stair step down you don't usually go bang straight down unless it's a news announcement or a very very fast moving market uh, and by the way that was at uh, 219 222 a.m. Central Standard Time and so just on that point the market closes at uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time and it reopens at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time which is called the Globex session and so during the Globex session uh, it's you don't have this anywhere near the same volume but it does give you some fantastic trading because I like it because it's slower okay yes you can slow it down if you trade the New York hours by increasing the time frame you're trading but that also means you need a larger account okay in fact let me just um, pause this I want to show you something here so what I've got here is really my recommendation on account size requirements now if you're trading say the four tick here I'm stating there you need 8,700 in fact I recommend that you have around ten thousand dollars if you're trading uh, uh, waiting for it a higher time frame to give you a number of confirmations likewise here on the two tick realistically you need six hundred six thousand two hundred and fifty unless you're very experienced now once again this goes against the grain of what brokers tell us and I've got a lot of respect for people like ninja trader etc where they do give you great day trading rates and by the way this is not a broker recommendation I'm neutral there but um, day trading rates will get the inexperience you'll get the amateurs in and they get caught up and they keep blowing your account that's not what you want you've got to have the right account size so if you don't have the six thousand seven thousand you start on the micro so I've got a whole range of spreadsheets of things like that that the tools that I give my, my members such as this one here where you can change the figures uh, and tailor make your own um, uh, trading plan now so we stair step our way down but there was another point I was going to make on that I can't remember what it is now it doesn't matter all right so we're coming down so uh, I'd be expecting very high probability we're going to get down here so let's see what happens here so we're coming down coming down and no doubt I'll go and see how I've gone the break even so I'll just pull that back up this is pretty much a very very high probability trade traders and I'm just pulling it up here. and the reason I might pull my stop up here uh, is that I know that 
I'll probably get a bounce here look at my EMAs in this beautiful downtrend and I've got a major price magnet down below a major major price. I've got two key areas and as I as you'll hear me say having one or two reasons for taking a trade is good having five or six reasons for taking a trade is even better so what we're now going to do is let me close that down and let's go to the charts uh, to the chart at about that time okay so let me just expand this now um, look I'll leave this little indicator on here so all of the indicators I show you I have for uh, TradeStation Ninja Trader um, I don't have the MACD BB by the way for any other one but NT8 but if you've got a say if you're using MT4 MT5 or any other platform where I haven't customized a whole range of indicators uh, nearly every indicator I use is stock standard but with custom settings so you can set those up on virtually any trading platform and model everything that I do and as I mentioned everything I trade is a pattern now as we come down I just wanted to show you what you would have been looking at now uh, here look at some of these moves now with that that there trade is is probably about a $300 move just there alone so traders will say sometimes why don't you trail well you can do that and I've got some great strategies in doing that however for me I prefer to get in get out it just suits me I just don't like the pressure of seeing that meter ticking up then going back again so it just suits me anyway down we down we come we almost hit the pivot we then have what we call a t3 now a t3 is a very very high probability reversal strategy note the angulation here angulation is where you see price action moving away very very strongly that makes it a very high probability reversal signal now for those that believe and like to even say believe but those that trade with fib levels that's an exact basically from up here down to here 38 percent retracement if you're wondering how actively do I use fib levels you know look I'll look at them sometimes but I'm not a real active you won't see me apply it to every setup I might do it as a matter of interest uh, but certainly if you do like fib levels they can enhance your trading but then you'll have a lot of situations like if let's just see just here I've got a cool little we just look at that one there look that's not even a 38% retracement there look so it'll just vary anyway you had a potential trade here down we come and then I had a 50% retracement just here and I thought I'd just throw that in so from there to there we, we actually popped down if you had have taken that one by the way you would have been out of break even it did tick down six or seven ticks now I've got an entry and this is called a t10 so I would have taken that trade we'll go up here we've seen uh, these here these setups that I've already taken we then form that double top now what I want to show you these black lines this is a swing indicator if you uh, and virtually um, uh, every trading platform now you can get these indicators um, for free don't no need to go and spend your money buying indicators okay so or if you don't have it just drop um, a, a a horizontal line in at your major swings and the reason being they become price magnets they become really it's like fib levels they're like a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many traders will trade into these levels so just note this one here now further along look at that there see there to there we come down see that little tail there we actually hit that right of a tick and then we bounced you'll quite often see me take profits and exit at these levels where I wasn't worried in this particular case was I had such a strong downtrend and if I do this look at the pivots down below so I know that I've got a really good chance of going down there and see that there we call that a fanning of the EMAs so when I get that fanning I know that hey and I've got a pivot good chance I'm going to continue on the way down and then up we come 
and for members watching this we just had a classic 2b there was another classic 2b and finally we come down and look what we just kissed the pivot okay now these indicators are predictive indicators now we know that um, uh, virtually every indicator is based upon price action uh, the derivatives of price but some of them like your pivots like your high of day current low of day and things like that uh, once again they're, they're predictive because so many traders trade them now down here uh, we then had a, a 2da t7 pivot bounce now that is a what we call a loaded trade traders so note here we're bouncing off the pivot your best the best of the best divergence trades 99% of the time are going to be off a pivot bounce okay so what we come we've got and we call this a t12 this is a no-brainer it's a t12 on your anchor chart too and it's a pivot bounce and it's a t12 on your anchor chart one as well and it's called a t3 okay we ended up then having a bet the farm and last of all I will finish on this one be very very cautious when you start to see the 89 EMA and a 200 EMA going sideways so if we want to take a trade when we've got sideways do you have any divergence now this is a custom divergence indicator a zero lag so it picks these up really well now I've only got that coded once again for, for TradeStation and NinjaTrader but I give you the settings that you can set this up on any trading platform exactly the same and so that turns into what we call a bet the farm setup and uh, bet the farms really kick butt and by the way it's still tongue-in-cheek we never ever break our two percent um, risk reward ratio so traders what I've covered is a lot with you in this session this is not rocket science it's about learning the patterns and the patterns consists of usually either divergence or pullbacks and EMA bounces but they have different categories and different levels and so come and join me come and join me in the classes let me teach you how to do this okay it's not rocket science there's hundreds of hours of videos you can watch and I really drill down and break it down you start off with um, there's one core strategy and there's three very closely behind it that you follow that are trend following you could if you wished just trade those the rest of your life just really trade your two B's and not look at anything else you might have two markets up just waiting for your two B's now as I also mentioned there's a bonus where you can get one month of my coaching included so thanks for watching traders make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you come and join me as a member traders as always I love day trading see you on my next video